Hello everyone, this is a video about this Panasonic Walkman, the model number is RQSX30 and this, was, uh, this one is in silver, it has, uh, it, uh, uh, it comes with the old shebang, is in perfect working order and it, uh, you can uh, listen to playback time of 52 hours which is a lot for a one gum stick battery and most probably the battery pack that it comes with it that is just one double a battery let's see if it has it because as i mentioned in, in all of my videos i have many of these and i don't know what is inside each box but most of the times when it is coming inside this box that is in mint condition actually without any scratches without any sort of marking and uh, dents on the box uh, it has to be complete let's open and see how complete this one is as you see is even difficult to open it uh, let me just without tearing it opening it and as you see it comes with the instruction manual and then everything is packed properly here all right this one i think is the unit itself let me get everything out of the box and i'm going to come back and talk more so this is all that there is in the box and uh, you can see that this one doesn't come with a remote inline remote control but everything is intact and everything that states on the box is in here so we have the uh, user manual that is really uh, in different languages and is really uh, comprehensive even how to clean it and so on and it's really big I explain everything for you and I put this aside and now we are going to the item it comes with a charger as I mentioned in all of my videos these are very rare and this is nearly I think it's brand new never used so I put this aside and then we have a battery pack as I mentioned again in all of my videos these battery packs in itself there are between 25 to 35 pounds minimum and then the battery it comes with a Panasonic battery that this one we are not gonna use they deplete it depletes uh, and then uh, accepts charge sometimes after many many years of uh, storage but we are not going to use this I put this one aside as well and the battery pack uh, it takes a double a battery let me just open and show you the inside of this is in mint condition never been used so we put this aside as well and this one comes with a pouch, Panasonic pouch. That is, in itself, is rare. And this pouch, some people, they are selling this for 25 pounds just to have a complete package. And this one is the item in itself. And as you see, it is in mint condition. And before I forget, this the, the price of these, they, are, they differ from you know uh, if it's in this mint condition the price is between 100 pounds up to 200 pounds everything that i showed you in this box so and um, it's, it's good for collection if it is in this mint condition but otherwise if it's just coming in in, in itself and is in good relatively good condition it's between 35 to maybe 60 pounds if it's in working condition but but if, if it's not in working condition 35 pounds is the maximum that you pay and i tell you what is wrong with most of these types 
these shapes of them and I show you a, um, images from inside here and we are going to uh, you know end this video after this so this is just auto reverse uh, here on the top it says uh, you know, uh, RQ SX30 this is play um, auto reverse and stop and fast forward and rewind and then sound select in some models there are a button here or there and what this one is sound select but this one it does uh, with the Dolby I, I think it's uh, press and hold uh, the Dolby is coming on otherwise you have with one press it goes to um, uh, super bass and then it goes to the other functions and when, when you're holding it and it has a battery check as well the battery is not inside so the way to open this let me first show you all around it here uh, here we have the volume hold button and inline remote or headphone jack here we have the uh, open that is opening like so where is the uh, let me show you the head and as you see is in perfect condition both the head and the pinch rollers and be careful when you are purchasing this because sometimes this blue this one the blue sensor that you see there is missing and then when you put the tape in there you see whatever that you do is not working properly because that sensor is missing the plastic blue plastic on the front that you see is uh, is easily removed or um, this uh, disattached from the base and it doesn't know the tape is inside or not that's why it's not working so you need to either get a uh, another one of these as a spare or repair or uh, you have to directly connect that one that uh, it thinks always that the tape is inside and anywhere else is nothing but everything is in mint condition I mean excellent and no scratches nothing okay that's it and then on the other side is the connector for the battery pack that is taking double A battery on here nothing and that's really it and here we have the battery uh, compartment and the battery compartment is in good condition and inside there as well is in fantastic condition and now what it remains is to put a battery in there and then um, do a demonstration and show you the inside i told you about the price and this is it takes the gum stick battery negative first positive and this one as i mentioned is a head feeder as well so head feeder it means that you put the head inside uh, the tape head first like so and then uh, that's it uh, because uh, it doesn't have the inline remote this video uh, could be much shorter than the ones that it has the inline uh, remote control anyway i play, play a song and these are if you're you're having them in storage and somehow you have to uh, play a tape and wait wait for it to get up to a speed so there is nothing wrong with the speed or something it just has to you know oil up a little bit because oil is gathering in some corners of the gears inside 
and then it has to be distributed amongst the other gears to get up to the speed otherwise if it's genuinely slow you can uh, you know uh, adjust the speed with the potentiometers that is inside anyway when you put a battery in there uh, it has a battery check when you press this the lights are coming on and it shows you oh now it shows you oh it's halfway down the battery anyway let me just first listen to it by myself to see if it's up to a speed and then we are going to talk more okay everything is set up and I just wanted to show you the images from this and just tell you what might go wrong with this as I mentioned in all of my Panasonic's again you know I have to reiterate because these have some inherent uh, problem or design fault that is making it very vulnerable and uh, before I do that I, I show you how to open this so the way to open this not this part that the tape is going in there is just the other side that all the buttons are there there are one two three and you have to open this door as well five six and seven one two three four five six six button uh, screws and we have to open this on this one as well for this to uh, come off and then when you open that you face with this and the whole of the uh, internal guts of this is coming out of this folding um, case that is all aluminium and then the problem with this is this uh, it has a <coughs> grommet or washer that you see is broken here and then uh, there is a spring underneath and that spring is pushes this up and if you are lucky still you can see that black part inside here so when you find that be careful when you open it uh, finding that be careful with that don't lose it because without that this one is obsolete you cannot use it at all so in my, my opinion you have to when you take it out uh, or when you find it you have to super glue these parts let me just make it a little bit bigger you see the crack here or the there you just super glue it and leave it overnight or um, then 24 hours to get uh, really really cured cured up properly and then put it back and it's gonna work like a charm and uh, the way to uh, open this is to desolder this i mean the flip open the pcb in order to access to the belt drive belt so these uh six one one two three four five here and there are screws obviously you have to unscrew all of these screws here and then these two here and then these three sometimes these three it has to be desoldered and then flip it open and when you flip it open <coughs> let me see if i have the inside all of them they are the same really and that's it you can um, change the uh, belt and then put everything back so this video is getting too long let's play a little bit of uh, music and you know we are going to wrap this video up so uh, if you press this once is the uh, auto reverse uh, is play if you press it again it is a stop if you press and hold it is auto reverse and this is fast forward uh, cue uh, or automatic music sensor for one song and rewind for one song um, automatic music sensor and then you have the sound select here 
that if you press once is going to uh, super bass and if you press and hold is the Dolby NR which is Dolby B and other than that there is nothing else on this apart from you know the uh, beauty of this let's have a listen and this is the battery check and the volume and now the super bass and the Dolby you have to press and hold Fast forward. I think the battery is a little bit low. Battery of that. And then rewind. And this beep that it does is just uh, looking for the uh, beginning of this track. And for demonstration it just goes back and find the starting of this and then forward and then play normal super bass anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and until my next video I hope you enjoyed my channel well, viewing my channel and coming back uh, more often anyhow Take care of yourself and each other, and as always, have a great time. A little bit of OCD attack.